Hey there. In this session, we will learn how can we perform the sentiment analysis using the binary classification. Sentiment analysis refer to the use of the natural language processing and the text analysis. Sentiment analysis reveal the customer's opinion about the topic ranging from the product and the service to your location. We can identify that language is positive or the negative. Nowadays, e-commerce site, movie reviews, music reviews, app stores, etc. allow the user to write the reviews. But it is very difficult to identify that comment is a positive or negative. Using the sentiment analysis, we can predict it very easily. For this example, I am going to use the IMDb's movie review dataset. It has the two columns. Sentiment represent the 0 for the negative review and 1 for the positive review. And the sentiment text column represent the text that user has written. Based on this TSV file, I have created the input model and load the data for the both column. I have already created the demo class like the previous session and loaded data from the file. Here sentiment text column will be the feature and the sentiment will be the label. Our feature column has the text, so we need to convert it to the numeric value. In previous example, we have used the one hot encoding for this, but here we cannot use it. For this example, we need to use the context.transforms.text.futurize text method. This method will divide the entire sentence into the word and assign the some numeric value for that word and calculate the value of the entire sentence. Output column name is the features and the input column name will be the sentiment text. We do not need more pre-processing on the data. Now we need to append the trainer of the binary classification. This time we will use the average perception. Label column name is the sentiment. And we want to use the 100 iteration. Our pipeline is created. Now we need to create a model based on that. Use the fit method and pass the training data set. Create the production engine. Pass the model and create a new class for the result model. Boolean is positive review. Prediction label and a float score. Let me paste the few example for generating the production and paste the it's a helper method. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. It will take the few minutes as its dataset contains the more than 5000 records. Here we got the result. Here we got the year true for the first example in which we have passed the I like this movie. It has the positive content. And for the second example, we got the false. In that we have passed the movie is just okay. So it sounds a bit negative. For the third example, we got the positive and it has the more score than the first one. Here we have passed the it's a really good film and blah, blah, blah. It is a positive. In the fourth example, we get false as we have passed the it's a fresh movie. 
boring and better written so all the words are negative let's see what we have learned in this session using the sentiment analysis we can determine whether the given review is a positive or negative even we can obtain the score for determining the confidentiality here we have used the futurized text to convert the text into the futurized value and we have used the average per chapter trainer for operation you can also try with the other trainers as well as the other hyperparameters too stay tuned for the next session